the stereotype of Taiwan as only the property attribute one. When I see my models, so we, are make, we have made a customization of the model explorer in order to see exactly requirements. I see the ID on the text. And if I see attribute of uh, this requirement, I see if it is stereotyped by reg type 5, so specification of requirement. And all attributes are filled. So this is the import. We can re-import Rekif. Uh, we can also export. I will know soon the demo. Uh, it is uh, already used by uh, industry. So now I will present um, uh, uh, yes, I will show you ma now the matrix, requirement matrix. Oh. So, I will create new requirements, two requirements. Ah, yeah, ah, <laughs> Hop. This is better, like this. Control one. Control one. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, control C. For me. Okay, I will create two blocks. So in this manner, you can see the model explorer and the matrix. So for a satisfied matrix, I check um, a link between block one and requirement one. It will create automatically the satisfied links. And it creates uh, also a, uh, a satisfied link between block two and the requirement two. So this is a manner, this is a very easy to see um, the satisfy. So this is also for all links for uh, CCML. Now I will present to you how to create <coughs> a new profile from a meta models. Yeah, okay. Where is it? Up. <coughs> so in, the, in this example, uh, I have meta models, uh, domain models, <laughs> and I will generate um, the first generation for a profile. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will I click on Papyrus Rec, Language Creation Tools, and generate a profile from a domain model. We obtain the profile. All. Okay. So here, each concept of the meta model, each classes become a stereotypes, and it remains to add the meta class and to extend your stereotypes to your um, your meta your meta class. And the future for 
CCML requirement, we will add automatically the stereotype of CCML requirement and create exactly the generalizations with the requirement. Or if this is a link to make an extension directly from the dependency, for example. Okay, uh, so all these tools are interesting, but we use all to model Papyrus with Papyrus. It was uh, the goals. So I will show you, for example, one model that is uh, how we can uh, display stereotype applications in diagrams. So here, this is in you can find this model in the plugins of Papyrus, in the directory doc, I can show you. So this is in, uh, in the Git. Here you can see the code. <coughs> and you have a, a directory with the model of Papyrus for these plugins. So we have designed a small process requirement with use cases, use cases here, the design, where we have uh, make a retro engineering of the Java code. And here we can see also all tests with use case test, uh, with use case test and activity that represent the test that are somewhere in the Git of Papyrus. So thanks with all these tools, um, how we have worked, we create our requirement uh, by taking account uh, the specifications. We then we make the use cases. <coughs> and our use cases are used to make the documentations for users because each use cases represent an interaction between the tool and the user, and it's very easy to, to make the documentations. Thanks to this, we can see if there is a lack between use cases and requirements. We, we can see if there is a lack between the code that has to satisfy our requirements, and the test is each test has to satisfy one requirement. And thanks to this, this is a cycle, and it is very easy and soon, um, very fast. OK, we have a think about the test, but we have no requirements. Oh, OK, we have forgotten our uh, requirements. And, some, and we continue. And we can also generate an HTML documentation to be very fast. How the model uh, um, So in order to generate the documentations, up, we generate a model of document that are very useful in the future to be used with GenDoc. Because the model of document is a bijection with what you can see. So you pattern to go across this model is already the same. And you can see, I will show you, up. this is the documentation, web browser. Yeah, so this is the generations of, here of developer documents. You can see all your requirements. So you can see identifier that we have used by, uh, by using uh, CCML rec. You can see use cases. Each use cases, we have a text. Because we have stereotyped uh, comments in use cases with user doc, we know that this is specified for user. And we create a section how to. For to each. Uh, comments we have associated a screenshot with hyperlinks of Papyrus. So if you want to see what is hyperlinks, we can uh, see um, in, the, in the spot 
that with Vincent, with uh, Sebastian. We can also see uh, the test, the design, the test, <coughs> and finally, we can easily generate the requirement coverage with ID, satisfied by, and verified by. So this is uh, <coughs> a manner that we have, that uh, how we work. So I will let, for the conclusions, hop.